Uh, okay. So I don't usually do, um, I try not to do like standalone like uh, unit reviews and things like that because I usually tend to talk a lot during my videos anyways and I, I kind of walk through um, what they're doing there and why they're there. For some reason my sound isn't working. Uh, so that kind of sucks, but whatever. Let me go check to see, make sure. Uh, let's do that. Um, desktop audio is not coming through. Hold on, let me check. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, let's go back here. Well, I mean, the, the audio is not that important anyway, right? I mean, it's just good to have like the background music uh, sometimes, which is going to be kind of silent. But anyway, um, back to what I'm saying. Uh, I don't usually do like unit reviews and all that kind of stuff. I'll usually like poll and talk about during them, talk about them during that video. But the reason I'm making this video is because I'm not entirely sure I'm going to pull on this banner now. And I want to preface this by saying that this is actually a very good banner for red, which is where you want to be pulling because obviously the new mythic hero comes out. So you came out, so you want merges and you want that mythic hero in general. Um, I'm not, I'm not pulling because this is a bad banner, mind all of you. I'm pulling because this feels like an overkill banner for this account. Uh, so let's talk about uh, my, my account, my uh, my channel, and and what stuff goes on here. I have like so many videos to, to release today. For those of you who've been keeping track. Uh, I haven't released a video in a few days and I've got like six or seven or I want to say like five that I have to do now. But anyway, um, so this might come out with a bunch of other stuff today. Uh, the, the thing I want to talk about is, is this channel and my and where we are right now. Uh, so I've hit Red Chair on Astra Season a few times already and hitting tier 27 has not been that hard, even with having to carry Naga around with us. Um, so this channel has never been like, I'm not, I don't like, you know, make individual player guides. I don't make like, oh, you know, let's talk about this and, <clears throat> and stuff like that. I make a lot of discussion stuff. I make a lot of like, this is what's going on here, uh, what you guys might take away. So I kind of use this channel as more like an example of like, yeah, like basically that, that's the best way I can say it's like, this channel is an example. So when I, when I fail at something or when I mess up somewhere or I make a poor investment, you know, use that as like, okay, should I not invest into that? Or should I still go forward with that investment that he made? Um, just keeping in mind the things he's he's gone through or the things that, you know, where I've messed up or, or not messed up. And make the decision for yourself whether you still want to go forward with things like that. So that's kind of what my channel is, is, is an example. Now, I'm not, like, obviously, I'm not the greatest example. And, and um, <clears throat> I always link things like uh, Acarus or Sea Pokemon and all them um, for you guys to check out who are, who are, well, yeah, who are generally just better examples. Uh, and Acris, of course, actually has a lot of guide videos and a lot of like literally how to do these things uh, that's important to check out. So my channel is more like this is what I'm doing, you know, extrapolate from what I'm doing and where I'm at, you know, for yourself. So if you want to, you know, it's like, do you want to be as successful as I am? Even like I'm not that successful, right? I'm not like the best uh, AR player out there. But you guys can see from week to week, I generally tend to make tier 27 <laughs> as long as I don't, um, as long as I don't do anything stupid uh, like last week. So last week was a pretty poor example. Uh, but I'm generally in tier 27 and all these things. So, you know, extrapolate from this channel what you can. Like, do you, if you want to hit tier 27, well, here's all the things that like, here's where I'm at. And these are the things that can get me there and they will probably get you there. Um, so that being said. I, I can make tier 27 pretty comfortably as long as I'm not doing anything dumb, like I said. Um, so I'm not, I feel like I'm not going to summon on this for one, because the mythic banner is usually a pretty crap and you never pull the one you want because there's three to, there's three, there's a chance to get three, um, different ones. And you really need to have like everything on that color. I really need it. That's, or I, you know, you really want it. Um, <clears throat> right now this feels more like an overkill banner, right? Because I have a Naga no merges, which is pretty good for me, right? Because I didn't invest like 10 merges into an Aga, uh, only to replace her as soon as, Mer as, soon as um, uh, Plumeria came out, right? So I can just swap her out for Plumeria and not be, you know, that big a deal about it. And we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But um, so fortunately, my Naga is zero merges. My Altina has like three merges, maybe something like that. So she's going to stay there and then I'll have the Plumeria. Um, <clears throat> So the, the thing about this is, though, is, like I said, I have those few, those, like, uh, you know, less invested units, and I still make tier 27. 
So picking up this Plumeria for my account is kind of like overkill because I'm not going to run Triple Mythic right now. Uh, I mean, of course, uh, as Akers keeps telling people, and, and I kind of, you know, I generally do kind of believe, uh, Triple Mythic is kind of the way to go. Um, Plumeria herself is, is something that's like overkill for my account. I will get her, and it's not going to help me achieve Tier 27. It's not going to help me do anything, right? Nothing's going to change now that I have... Um, her it's just going to make my astro season easier because now i have another dancer or i can run the triple mythic and have and still have a dancer left over and like like you guys have seen i only have one team for astra <laughs> i have three now but two of them are back to <laughs> he doesn't work out uh, all the time um but the the point i want to make is that mirabilis will give me more options not necessarily improve anything so that's why i say it's sort of like she's like a win more character she's a She's something to win more, right? Like, I'm already winning. I'm already in tier 27. Do I want to go... Do I want to make tier 27 easier? And I'm not necessarily uh, want that. It's not that I'm like, oh, <clears throat> I want it to be hard and, and I'm, you know, I'm hardcore, parkour, nothing like that. It's just that, like, where Aether Raids is for me right now is a pretty good challenge. And I, I don't feel like I'm lacking for mirror, for uh, Plumeria. I'm not sitting there like, oh, I really need I really need some other thing. Like, this Naga... While Naga is generally pretty useless, right, for, for most of us, um, she's not so useless that I feel like I'm you know, walking around with like a uh, you know ball and chain attached to my leg and 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 uh, it, it's like costing me wins or whatnot, right? Nothing like that. Like I'm okay where I am now, and pulling for Plumeria is just sort of like unnecessary. Uh, that being said, though, like I mentioned earlier, none of this other stuff here is really worth anything. Lucina hasn't been worth anything since Legendary Crom came out. Um, and, and I'm glad uh, Acris is, is doing these videos again because uh, he stopped making like uh, banner reviews and stuff like that a while ago because he didn't like the summoning system. But after I guess he vented uh, in that one video, he's okay with it now and he's okay with talking about it. So that's pretty cool. That's good information for all of you. But um, for, for general players, right? But again, like I said, if you're watching this channel, it's because you're looking to an example or, or maybe you're just here to hang out, in which case, you know, uh, appreciate all of you regardless. Um, but uh, yeah, so in terms of like, uh, I review these things in terms of my channel and where people like me are at. Um, so like I said, Lucina hasn't been useful since um, since Lancina. And then specifically, um, this Bow Lucina hasn't been useful since uh, Legendary Chrom. So that kind of sucks. She's getting kind of shafted. Maybe she'll get a uh, uh, refine or something in the future, but I don't know. Who knows? Um, Ephraim... Uh, he's always been, you know, who cares? Uh, like when, when was the last time you saw an Ephraim on anything ever? Uh, yeah, so you know, don't don't worry about that too much. Um, th I've seen her a few places, but I still don't think she's really worth very much. She's just kind of here. Um, I forgot what she she has uh, something special with her weapon. I think. Yeah. Okay. So she can always move adjacent to someone, which is fine. Uh, so blue kind of sucks, right? Blue is, is pretty bad. Uh, green is actually the second best color uh, compared to red. So green has uh, Yoon, which is a good... for Specifically for this account, right? We want another flyer. You want to add another flyer to your defense team. Um, but yeah, so Yoon is pretty good uh, for that. We've got um, Celica, which is... Pretty good replacement to Thrasir. The problem is that Thrasir is good not only just like as a good unit, the the same way kind of Celica is. Um, Thrasir is also you can put you can have her on your mythic team on your defense team as like one of the Astra or I forgot what she is. I think she's uh, Anima. Yeah, she's Anima. I think. Yeah, so you can have her as that. So she serves double purpose, being a, a decently good mage unit, range unit, while being also giving you that lift loss defense. And so you can't run both, or you can't run her instead of her because now. You're missing another uh, another defenseless lift redu reduction, uh, but of course I, I would love a um, a Celica, uh, but just just to have one because I don't have any. Because um, I mean, look at her; she looks great. This armor is is she just looks she looks really good in this in this one in this alt. Uh, and then secondly, uh, this is the reason why I think this banner is um, this this green is such a, a good color. So. I think red and green are what you should go in for here. Focus red. If you don't get any reds, uh, try greens, and then you know from there do whatever you want. Uh, but <clears throat> uh, but Micaiah is the main reason why I say um, the green is good for for my account anyway, because 
for one, those of you know, I use Makaya on a lot of stuff, and even on my defense, which I'm going to switch her out, so she's going to be so her her relevance is a little a uh, bit reduced because she's not going to be on my defense anymore. Um, but I, if I take her out of my defense, I'll finally be able to start using her on offense again because she, I need that blessing. So she's she's locked in over there. Um, but yeah, so this 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 right here is all right. It's not like, I mean, it's not amazing, but it's all right. But the thing is, is she might get a refine, or she probably will get a refine, uh, uh, sometime you know later the same way the 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 gen 2 cyl units did um so you know we'll have to look at her uh, closely when that time comes um as well she's got ground orders and probably the the main skill you want to use her for is the uh better tamari dagger which is this the um the yun's whispers reduces everybody by six so that's it, it's it's good yeah it's just good a, a reduction in uh 12 stat reduction is is never anything to sneeze at um, and and she's been really useful on on offense. Like before, I, I used to have to, I used to you know used to think about between Yoon and um, and Aversa. Now, unfortunately, I'm going with Aversa more often than not because the Yoon is is I mean you know in terms of the others, I have five teams right, and two of them are one is one with Yoon and one with or one with Mikaya and one with Aversa. Unfortunately, I can't use the Mikaya one right now, but I've been using the Aversa one, and it does just as well. Um, but back, but before when I when I did have her on offense, it was a really like you, had, you really had to think about what you're going with. Are you going with the Makaya or are you going with the Aversa? Because both of them, if the enemy does not have buffs up at all, both of them reduce the enemy's stat total by twelve, right? But sometimes if you can focus those stats into particular ones, in in this case Yoon attack and speed, in this case Makaya attack and speed, whereas Aversa is more spread out three to everything. But sometimes you don't need to worry about their defense stats. You really need to worry about their offensive stats. So that's why it's better to take the minus six to attack and speed. Um, but yeah, so um, now, like I said, now I just kind of go with the Versa just because uh, Makaya is kind of busy. But yeah, like I said, Makaya is probably the main reason to be pulling on here. She's a long-term merge project you, you might want to consider and one that I'm considering all the time. I always like, anytime I, I can get a uh, copy of Makaya, it's great. But uh, if not, then you know, it is what it is. Uh, you guys have seen Duma on my defense team. Uh, Duma is here because I don't have the other guy. What's his name? <sighs> you guys know his name. Uh, is he even? Is he dark or is he? He's Anima, right? Well, he might not even be Anima. Well, it, regardless, uh, he's here because I don't have the uh, Bramimond, which I think is going to be a lot better. Um, if they're on the same season, like I said, he might be dark. I think he is dark. But I don't have like Bramimon, I don't have uh, Thrasir, like I'd probably put Thrasir there instead of him. The thing is, Dumo is there because of the kill potential as well as... Oh, I now have to go fix my defense team because I forgot why Dumo was where he was. <laughs> uh, but Dumo's there um, for, for one, the kill potential because this uh, combined with uh, Bold Fighter basically means no one will survive. But that's kind of uh, false because, uh, you know... <laughs> several people have survived as as some of you have seen on defense like he usually just stomps somebody out but every so often there'll be people who could just like tank him uh which is not good because that's all duma does duma only has the ability to kill one person like secured um but and if you can't do that then uh you really gotta like sit down and, cons and reconsider what, what to do with him um but uh what else and lastly it's upheaval is the other thing uh, it's basically a limitless uh, catapult. Like you don't have to worry about levels. It just pop something in the row, um, which is good. I think. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a good thing, but I think Duma is too much of a uh, liability uh, in general. So I don't know. I have to. Re I have to really think about it. Think about what I'm gonna do with him. Um, but yeah, like it, it's nice to have the upheaval. It's 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 good when you pop something important. Uh, sometimes you you'll hit people's. Um, you know, bolt towers or the healing towers or something like that. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, that aside, um, Duma. If you want Duma, there he is. Uh, I, I don't really want to pull any more for him because I have not been very satisfied with his performance. Um, and I don't think like a plus 10 is going to fix that. Uh, Leaf, of course, for those of you who run Leaf, um, you guys know how strong he is. So, I mean, if you're going to pull for Leaf, by all means. Um, I just, you know, obviously my channel, I don't care about Leaf at all, so I don't really have to worry about that. Uh, and then Julian, um, Julian's kind of crap. I'm just going to put it out there. He's not very good. Uh, the only thing I like from him is the fact that if I, if you pull him by accident, you get close foil and you get the, the lull attack speed three, 
which is just excellent fodder. Like it, so many units could use this. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, uh, they've got these two and then good fodder on, on Cuddleus. But uh, red is pretty good because of course you get the uh, Plumeria and um, so far she's my favorite, I think, <clears throat> of these uh, new like fairy type creatures. Well, it's kind of hard because uh, I do like Peony. Um, but anyway, and yeah, I guess Mirabilis is like at the bottom. But like, yeah, so her and her and Peony are, are, are <laughs> obviously very, very nice units. Um, but <clears throat> unfortunately, I, I always it always agitates me when they give such good fodder to um, like Astra units like this. Because uh, she can't use this. She's not going to use that. I mean, she can use that, which is pretty cool. But she's not going to use this either. Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, she might. But... Like, this would be much better served on someone else. And, uh, I mean, you're not going to fodder off a mythic unit, so it's all just stuck on her. And every time you get a merge, that's a lot of wasted fodder you just lost. Um, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but red's pretty good because not only do you get uh, you get her, the possibility of getting her anyway, uh, you also get the possibility of getting Leaf, who's a very good uh, defense unit, or Life. I don't, I'm not sure how to say that. Uh, Leaf or Life, who's a very good defense unit. Um, I've lost to him a few times. Um, if you're not careful, he can really kind of sneak up on you with how strong he is. Uh, yeah, so depending on, on how you see that, I think if it's if it's up in the future, I think uh, somebody said something about like spoilers or something with regards to him. I think he might be Alphonse. I haven't seen Alphonse in a while in the story, but I don't play the story, so I don't know. <laughs> Sorry if I spoiled anything to you guys. I don't. You know, I can't spoil anything because I don't know what goes on in the story. Uh, but here it does remind me of, of uh, Alphonse, like maybe like an evil Alphonse or like something, uh, like an evil clone or some shit. Uh, but yeah, so <clears throat> um, he he's a pretty I, I'd say he's a pretty good investment for uh, for defense. He's he's pretty annoying uh, to deal with. He can do a lot of damage. Yeah, so if, if he's within three spaces, he gets his free follow up attacks, and I thought doesn't have to worry about speed. Um, and then he gets a bunch of health back while that getting that as well. So uh, he's uh, he's a formidable one to, to say the least. Uh, distant, but if you if you don't want him, if you don't care about Leaf on defense, he's also got very good uh, fodder, right? He's got the distant counter, which is one to inherit, and then he's got the time spool, so this is three. So there you go, perfect uh, perfect fodder target. And then, so this gives him that. So <clears throat> uh, I don't know what this does. I always forget, but this is probably the reason I keep dying to him. Hmm. So basically, okay, so yeah, if they're under 50 or they have a penalty, they'll hit into you, charge your special, because now it's down to, because of this, now this is down to two. Um, and then you'll retaliate back with it, so you'll hit them for 50% of your dam your defense. So that's probably, that's probably well, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I don't know why I keep losing him if I don't, like, I rarely attack, I rarely attack into Leafs just for common practice. Um but he does do a lot of damage even on his own phase, which is always something to be concerned about. Um, yeah, exactly. And then that too. So he'll he'll hit you once. You'll hit him, charge a special. He'll reduce your attack and defense by five. And he'll hit you back with the plus four to everything twice. And one of them will be the open the future. So that's, pretty, that's a pretty... I mean, I got to say, that's, that's pretty good. Um, it, not only that, it also secures his... Uh, is open the future if like if this doesn't go off because this goes off at the start of the turn but like if two people attack him so the first one attacks him this will be at a two charge and then whatever engagement happens if he survives the second person that attacks him this won't trigger so this will be at three right so they all attack into him reduce it down to two he'll attack back once uh it'll be ready so the second time he attacks he'll attack with this basically securing the kill um so yeah those of you can see, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure anybody needed convincing that uh, life is a good unit, but there you go. Uh, he's a very interesting unit, very strong. Um, can, you can build good stuff around him. Uh, this is the other thing that I wanted to mention is that, like I said, red is really good for fodder if you don't get the plumeria because not only is life there, you also get another chance to get distant counter, uh, but also you get to the, the, the joint hone defense thing here. Um, so yeah. Or and if you if you like uh, if you like sell if you could just there you go you get you get another sell of merge. I actually have a sell of that I don't have any use for, so I don't know. I have to figure out who to fodder him off to. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, sell of pretty good. Uh, his weapon with the uh, healing happens like every time he hits something, 
um, which is pretty good. So if you double someone, which you should because you've got uh, this, and then like uh, I'm sure this gives you doubles, um, then you got you know 14 off of every engagement, and that's not including whether or not you're running like a, a noon timer or an aether or something like that. Um, but yeah, so pretty good, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, so basically this this video is just to kind of let you guys know that um, for this account and maybe your accounts, uh, red is a very good uh, thing to summon on, and I wouldn't suggest you skipping it. And I'm not entirely sure myself that I'm going to skip it 100%. Um, I might make a video later with the uh, summoning stuff, but we have a week. Uh, I'll sleep on it. I'll think about it. Um, but I really don't think I'm going to pull. I really, I really don't think I'm going to pull on this because, for one, I think we'll get a better banner with her at some point. Um, kind of like the way we got air or something like that. I mean, it's it's rare. I don't think I don't think it's gonna come back something like that. But um, certainly, I do think that she will come back in some capacity or maybe just in a better banner. Um, and then then I'll probably pull on that. Um, like I said, better a better red banner than this I think is going to be hard to find. But personally, uh, like I said, I already have a, a Celif. Um, I don't have life, but I don't. I'm not that concerned with not having him. Um, and then of course, like I said, Plumeria is not like, I'm not in dire need of a Plumeria. Like when, when, when Naga came out, I was like, oh, I really do need a Naga. Cause all I had was, um, Altina. Um, so, you know, that was, that was like a really, a thing I needed. Uh, but now it's not so much, um, I'm not in such dire need for, for Plumeria. And I, I do really need to kind of save, uh, save, uh, orbs. You, you can see up here only have like 322. Um, so yeah, like I said, I uh, don't need a whole lot of disencounter fodder. I already have like a few in my box, uh, but they're, I just don't have anyone to use them on. Like all the people who need disencounter already have it. Um, like I needed one for my uh, echidna, uh, but she's okay. She already has it. So I don't really, you know, I already got, I already foddered her off one. So she's good. <clears throat> um, but yeah, there's not, I just don't have a whole lot of like merge projects right now that really need the disencounter um, that could use it. Uh, and like I said, Leaf, while he's good, uh, I'm not going to like, I I'm set on defense, right? My defense kind of sucks uh, to a large capacity, but like he's not going to help my defense a lot. Like I'm not going to suddenly start getting a bunch of victories because I got Leaf there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll like, I'll consider him. He's him. And of course, there's Seer, even though I run a flyer ball, like, like you guys have seen, I have, um, I have Sothis on one team and I have uh, Doom on the other team and really anything that can secure kills as good as Duma, which Leaf kind of can a lot of the times, uh, I might as well just replace there, right? Like, Duma's easily replaceable. It's just that I don't need to replace him right now. It's not pressing, right? That That's kind of the point I want to make there. Um, but yeah, so, like I said, uh, again, Micaiah is another great option, um, but the green pool is not... It's not that good. Um, I just want the Micaiah. Like I said, the Yoon is pretty useless on defense. Uh, despite the fact that like, oh, I'm running a flyer ball. Yoon's a flyer. Let's put her in there and get more uh, whatever she could offer. And she doesn't really offer a whole lot. So she only offers this. And uh, yeah, so that doesn't do very much. Uh, where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, so she kind of has to be like in an exposed area to let these uh, debuffs hit people. And then in, in that case, they're just going to hit her. Like they're just going to kill her. Um, yeah, so this isn't too bad. I just don't have a lot of res, uh, res hitters on my defense, so that's kind of why I don't really care too much about that. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, uh, so I guess let's just talk about Mirabilis uh, now. I've already gone over everyone else. Let's talk about Mirabilis and what she could do for my team on Astro specifically. Um, the other reason I, I kind of don't, not too concerned with getting her is because, like I said, I already have Tethys, right? My my Astro team is basically solid, right? I already have Tethys as a dancer, and she's like the best dancer carry like you could have in the entire game right now. I feel um, with all the stuff I gave her, um, so I think I'm gonna and 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 you don't have to like lose her. I mean, you can just replace Naga, right? But then, you know, like I said, we'll talk. We're talking about that now. Uh, she gives out speed, which my Felicia doesn't really need speed. Um, unfortunately, I do get doubled by by really slow. Uh, what's her name? Not really slow. That they're they're kind of slow, like forty-four speed uh, thrasiers, um, which you know that's kind of why she dies is is she gets doubled by thrasier. Uh, but as soon as like if I get her, I mean I'll be out of doubling range for her. I think even with all her buffs and debuffs and all that stuff running around, 
Um, so I should be okay. I think she might just guarantee follow-up attacks. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, that's something I'll have to look into. But anyway, uh, she gives out speed, which is a great stat to have, mind you all. Um, yeah, I mean, it's good. Problem being that um, I really, like, unfortunately, I do kind of rely on the, the defense that uh, Naga gives you. Do I need it so much that I'll just, like, never replace her? No, I'll probably replace her with... Uh, with Plumeria eventually, but having that like patch to her to Felicia's defense uh, on Astra is kind of like really good. Now, in the future, when I get more um, more options for my uh, defense team, uh, for my Astra uh, offense team, um, I can probably just kind of like okay, I can I can pick my spots with Felicia better, right? Right now, I use Felicia for everything, so the fact that she has defense is kind of helpful. The, uh, she, the fact that you can patch up her defense is kind of helpful. Um, but in the future, as I get more options for Aether Raid's uh, offense on Astra, I can like, okay, well, maybe I don't have to, I can pick my spots with her. So I can forego the fact that she needs defense um, <clears throat> and bring Plumeria into things where it's like, oh, I don't really need the defense. Um, and then just like, you know, have some other unit handle those situations. Um, but then additionally, uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit understated a lot of times how useful uh, Naga's Divine Fang thing is. Um, yeah, it's a very useful skill to, to just give people, to grant people um, dragon effectiveness. Uh, so, you know, it, like I said, it shouldn't be, hopefully it's not understated. And um, yeah, it, it's it saved me a few times on um, on offense. And it's, 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 you know, like I said, it's just helpful. Um, but again, it's not really worth keeping her around for. So ultimately, you're really just going to want to replace her um, <clears throat> with Plumeria, or you know, like 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 Akira says, you're going to want to run all three, and it's just going to be Altina, Naga, Plumeria, uh, the bonus unit, and then your carry unit, which is going to be which is in in our case is, is Felicia, right? Uh, so your main dancer and supporter is going to have to be Plumeria, uh, which kind of sucks because you don't get for one, you're not getting the panic smoke or the panic uh, the sudden panic from you're not getting the panic, and you're not getting you're not getting the minus five attack and defense, um, which from Tamari, which kind of sucks. So that's why I'm hesitant to like run that triple mythic uh, team. So to me, it's like, do I run the Plumeria and the Na and the Naga, and do I do I run the Plumeria with the Tethys, or do I top drop Tethys and run the Plumeria? And it's really hard to say no to the to the uh, panics, the the sudden panic. It's like people don't like. Gosh damn! Like I've won so many times because through through Aversa and the fact that like their panics get turned into debuffs, like it's not even funny. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so there's that. Um, maybe the ideal thing is yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. But yeah, so that's why that's why I'm hesitant right now and, and I'm not too like pressured to be like oh I need to summon for uh, Plumeria. Uh, and if you feel the same way, of course that's something that you know for you to consider is like yeah do do I want to or do I not? Um, of course, all of this stuff is kind of tantamount to this. I think that maybe, and and I'm I'm always hesitant. I'm hes I was hesitant. You guys, you guys are basically listening here, but I'm hesitant to replace Altina because Felicia can really use that plus three attack. Like it's hard to give that up to just run Altina or to run Plumeria and Naga, especially when I've already inve invested into uh, Altina. I mean, mind you, not a whole lot. It's like a plus two or plus three, uh, but I've invested into her nonetheless. Um, but yeah, like the fact that her weapon already gives you the plus three here from attack and res. Uh, basically means that like replacing Altina is a is a decent um, option, right? Because not only do I get this, but I also get uh, this uh, grants another action to uh, the dance, right? So basically, I get plus three to everything on on um, on Felicia, uh, and then they get a minus four to everything. Which is already boosting the again. She's on broadleaf fan, right? So that's a plus twelve attack or a plus sixteen attack from that um, to start off on turn one. Uh, so that's why it's kind of like not that big a deal. Like I could probably replace um, Altino, or I could end up placing the uh, replacing the um, <clears throat> the Tethys and not be too too poor off. But I really do like the panic. The fact that the panic double stacks with actual debuffs. So you can get a minus seven and a minus seven, 14 on one stat alone is already just kind of like basically salivating at the mouth, uh, thinking about that, right? Not to mention all like the, the total debuffs and all that stuff. 
Oh. Um, and it's really something, it's not just overkill, right? Like in, on a lot of other people, it's like, oh, you just kind of like looking to, to overkill. You just like, oh, I have bigger damage numbers. It's not really that. Unfortunately, uh, Felicia is not very well uh, endowed in the attack department. So you really need to make sure you're going to overkill because r trying to like ride that line of just getting, you know, decent damage is never a good thing with Felicia considering how low she can get in terms of her damage um so it's something to consider right it's not like when you're when you're thinking about felicia over there's no such thing as overkill um you just want to make sure you secure the kills period because there's a good chance that because she's so lacking uh in offensive stats that like you won't get the kill so that's something to consider um but yeah so this is why like plumeria looks like perfect for for my defense my offense team like I said the plus three we can replace altina with her uh, the res is good because now I can, you know, for one, the speed, right, and the res is good, and the attack is good because now I can just basically brawl with uh, Thrasiers, which was a, a decent problem a lot of the time. Um, <clears throat> like, you just leave her there, and then Thrasier like runs into her and probably dies. Now, the other thing is if if there's, if, there's, if Thrasier is that open, you could probably just leave um, Plumeria there and let her run into Plumeria and do no damage. So that's another option. Um, but then, you know, so you got the, you got this, which isn't very useful because you're not going to, you shouldn't be using her for, uh, too much, uh, offensive power. But the fact that she can is also another good thing, right? Um, and then, uh, what's this? Uh, yeah, so this is perfect. Uh, unfortunately it over, it overlaps a little bit with the, with the Tamari dagger, uh, but that's fine regardless. Um, you could replace this. I have a sabotage defense, so you could replace this with that, right? And you're basically like solid before anything even starts. They're inflicted with panic. Inflicted with minus five attack and speed, and then everybody's inflicted with a minus seven to defense. So that not only gives you uh, 17 attack points on top of your attack stat because of the broad leaf fan with Felicia, but it also reduces their defense by seven, which basically gives you another seven attack to your um, to your dagger. So you're basically at a plus 24 um, when you're hitting on the first turn before anything else is even considered. Um, so that's pretty cool. I, I have to say I, that that's like again, <laughs> it's all this like all these numbers. They're not just here to be salivating over you know big numbers, big damage, which uh, that happens a lot, right? As you guys have seen my Aether raids, sometimes you just overkill people by a huge margin. Um, but it's not like she's a very like knife's edge unit. You could just you could be overkilling people, but you could just as easily be underkilling and then getting yourself killed. Uh, with Felicia, but broadly fan is just such a uh, an excellent crutch that it's not even like, you know, who cares, right? Uh, and then of course attack rays, attack rays rain four. Um, these two skills combined here means that she can fight people. Basically, she's designed to fight Thrasir is what I'm getting from her, um, which I find kind of interesting why she's built this way. Uh, Thrasir, while she's a problem to my account, she's never really been that big of a problem. You could just play around her a lot of times. And if 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 you can bait out Thrasir with Plumeria, you can bait out Thrasir with Altina. And Altina, in most cases, is just going to survive Thrasir anyway, right? I know I complain about it, her not surviving her a lot. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, it's one of those things that I find kind of interesting. Um, it does really seem like she was just kind of designed to beat Thrasir as if Thrasir was like some huge problem or something. Um, yeah, it, it's odd. Uh, but yeah, like I said, um, Plumeria is pretty good. Uh, if you need a, a, a source of magical damage, which my offense team severely lacks, like no one on there does magical damage except for Naga. And maybe like last week we had, um, or last, was it last week? Or maybe a while ago we had, uh, Lysithia. But I don't have any good source of, of, of magical damage. And she could be a very good um, assistant carry almost, like, right? She's here to support, um, she's here to support, um, what's her name? Felicia, of course. But she also does a pretty good job of, like, oh, if there's, like, a really hard green unit, that you can just, like, hit him once and maybe do some de decent damage. And there you go. That's what Plumeria is here for. Um, but there's not a whole lot of that. Like, people are running, their, they have their bikes there, and you're not going to kill a bike with uh, Plumeria. You're not going to kill a... Uh, what's her name? The uh, the new one, Edelgard. You're not gonna kill like like probably any version of Edelgard, um, right? So it, that is what that is. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, Plumeria is a good unit. She's really really worth summoning. And like I said, I'm not 100 percent 
that I'm not going to summon, but if you feel like you really want to summon, I think that you wouldn't be too poorly served by summoning on this banner. Um, and I, I think um, <laughs> the more I look at her, like it's really, really uh, calling me to, to end up summoning her. But you guys will know uh, by the end of the week before the banner goes away whether I summon or not. Um, like I said, don't be as hesitant as I am. If you feel like you want her, um, by all means, go ahead. Uh, I will feel kind of sad if you don't get any of her, which, you know... <laughs> We all have that possibility of that happening to us, but um, I think you'll be safe summoning for her. I think you won't be too bad, especially because I'm pretty sure most of you, pardon, I'm pretty sure most of you don't have like a plus 10 Naga, right? If you're on this channel, your chances are you might have like a plus 10 Altina or a very high merged Altina, which you can keep. And then, well, you know, like I, like I was talking last time, uh, you might be might just want to drop Altina, run the Naga and her but I really do think maybe keeping uh, dropping the Naga is the better way to go. Especially for those of you out there who are running a better um, a better unit, right? I really kind of need the Naga because the plus five to defense to Felicia is, is can mean the difference between life and death a lot of the time. Um, but with, you know, not running her is all right too. It's not that big a deal. Um, like I said, I could just pick my spots better, make sure that... Um, I'm more consistently winning on the vantage sweep than I am worried about winning on like brawling a lot of the time because sometimes I, I do have to brawl with people and that's not always a good thing, right? You really want to just make sure you just sweep them and don't worry about it. Just kind of move on with your life, uh, which is what Cronia is for, right? So Cronia, if you're running Cronia, which you should be because again, she's a free, easily mergeable project, um, then you're all solid, right? This is basically perfect because Cronia doesn't really care about her defensive stats, even though they're really good. Um, she doesn't really care about them. She just has, she just, all she has to do is focus on the one shot. Uh, because if you're running the Savage Blow, you're reducing everybody's HP enough that, like, you know, even one reduction is what she gets her vantage on. Uh, so that that's kind of, you know, that's something to consider. Um, but yeah, so if you're running Cronia, then this is basically just a no-brainer. Just take out Naga, like. Please, <laughs> for the life of you, take out Naga. Run Plumeria, run Altina, run your Tethys if you're running Tethys 2, or, or run whatever other unit you wanted to run there, and you're going to be solid. Like, um, that's actually making me, yeah, so I mean, you know, like like I said, that's making, that's making me want to pull her even more. I'm sort of convincing myself here, but like I said, I'm going to be a little cautious. I'm going to just kind of chill for a bit. Um, we'll see. I've just, you know, for one, I'm, you know, you guys, I'm, you guys always know I'm, I'm tired of summoning, even though... I had a pretty good run last time uh, from that video you guys saw. It was pretty nice. Uh, but I just, like, I'm tired of summoning just in general. Um, I'm tired of wanting to pull for her and getting maybe one out of 300 orbs, if that. Um, so, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Um, but, yeah, like I said, uh, she's a flyer. She's a tome user, which is just, you know, like I said, she couldn't be more perfect for Astra season. Um, and I think... If you guys saw the um, the Acheris video, I think he's right to be concerned. Um, like she, she's almost too good. Um, yes, yeah. somebody was saying that she should have come with a plus res, but I think at that point you're just overkilling. Like, like, damn, dude, like, chill. Like, <laughs> she's already too good as it is, right? Um, but yeah, like, like, like he said in that video, like, what comes after her? Like, how are you gonna come up with a better unit? than her after she's here. Um, so yeah, that's something to consider for all of you out there. Uh, keep that in mind. She's a very excellent unit and um, I might summon on her. And if I do summon on her, hopefully we get a few leafs along the way so we can kind of like mess around with our defense a little bit and see how see how leaf does for us. Um, I kind of want like a plus res leaf, uh, but a plus attack is probably better just to secure the uh, secure kills better. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. That's theoretical stuff. We'll talk about uh, Leaf if we do end up getting him um, or not. Um, but yeah, hopefully I don't get any of this other stuff. Because all this is garbage. Except for maybe her and, and like one copy of her. But one cop getting one copy of her basically means I didn't get one copy of her. So I'd be pretty pissed if I got her instead of her. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, like I said, if I do make a video, that one will probably be shorter. I'm just going to summon and, and get out. I won't talk too much. I'll try not to talk too much uh, after or before that video. Because I've already said a lot of that stuff here. Um, but yeah, so like I said, good luck if you decide to summon. Uh, if not, like I said, she is a lot of times, she is to a large degree to this account and probably your account too if you're similar to level where I am. She's basically just a win more character. Like getting her is not going to boost you at all. It's just going to help you 
do the things you already did only faster, easier, and not you know with less thought. I think to my to my in in my thought anyway. Um, so yeah, just just keep that in mind. It's like don't don't take her because you think you need her if you're if you're already hitting tier twenty seven. Like like I said, if you're hitting tier twenty seven, don't you don't need her, right? You just you just want her the same way. Uh, I'm kind of convincing myself like I just want her, right? I don't need her. Um, but who knows? Maybe I can get one or two copies of her in this one, and then I'll merge her up, and then suddenly she's uh, beyond. Um, she's already reaching above uh, Naga's merges, which means I'll get more lift uh, on victories. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, for those of you, there's a lot of there's very specific conditions that you want to meet before um, summoning on her. Uh, if you don't meet them, I feel like you really should just not worry about it. If you're like in my situation, you know, I kind of don't I'm not too concerned with it. Um, but you know, keep in mind all these things and 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 proceed. Um, with caution, proceed with uh, whatever, you know, any way you feel like is helpful to your account. Um, let's see if my audio is back. No, it's not. All right. Well, anyway, regardless, um, good luck summoning and uh, hopefully you don't get jobbed.